Hey folks, my name is Jason Lesson. Welcome to Jason's Northern Outdoor Adventures. Appreciate the click on the video. Hope you enjoy what we're going to be at today. As you can see, this is a part two. We're after the Northern Plague, so we're going to be going out there, getting some holes down, and trying to get some new bait. I'll uh, show you what that is shortly. Like I said, going off in the last video, Tony gave me some advice on what I should be using, and uh, we managed to round up some. We're going to give it a try. So stay tuned, see how we make out. Hope you enjoy. Day two, we're going to change up the bait today. I'm told that the uh, smelt or cape one is the, is the key to this. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try that. We had some smelt with us for a fry, but I'm not happy the wife is going to be when she goes to cook it and I got it fed to the fish. Hmm. Got to pull out all the stops. There's it. Yesterday kind of went for a little tussle with the weather. Didn't really cooperate, but we're in. Looks like it's going to be a half sensible day today. No bright sunshiny spring days, but uh, nonetheless, we're going to make the best of it again. If I can get this untangled there. Now I'm after the northern plate. I know his mom was watching this laughing, saying she got the biggest one, don't worry about it, but I'm telling you, I'm beating you, man. I'm having a bigger one. There. If you can't eat that, I don't want it. Pulling out all the stops now. Here, busy, busy. The milder temperatures now. The holes weren't even froze over when we come over this morning. Topped up on a bit of water there. Oops. Have a little fish first, of course. Fish first, of course. Try them out. I turned the tip ups all this way because the cabin is there, so you can see the flags when they're. I guess this is kind of opposite of a tip up. <laughs> Most of them, you hit them when they hit strike, they flip up in the air. But these are opposite, I can see the flags. And when you got a fish on, you can see the flag going. And I like this because you get a little breeze of wind. A lot of times what I'll do is just tie a little shopping bag or something to catch the wind and the fishes itself. The ribbon's gone off of that tip up, but I have to use the binoculars to see him. All right, let's bring the water back. We got a fish on this one. Maybe I guess Tony was right. Maybe Schmelt is the way. There we go. Hey! <laughs> Another nice 
Billy's Northern Peak. Definitely gonna keep that one. Nice little fish. Definitely gonna keep and fill it out. Have a fried night on the fire pit, I'd say. Not as big as yours, man, but nice fish nonetheless. But I'm not done fishing yet. Not done fishing yet. <laughs> Some more bait back on that now, get that back down. He's a fish. eat this fish now and we got the young fella in by the camp digging that fire pit hopefully it'll clear off and it'll be a nice night to have a little little fish fry This is day number three now, is it? Back after this bleak. <laughs> we, uh, we actually just got back down. We went up uh, yesterday before yesterday for last night. We had Ducks Unlimited uh, auction and supper. You should really check out their Facebook page. I'll leave the link in the video description for it. You should really uh, check it out and see all the great stuff that they do and what we've done. Well, we went up for that last night. Had a great time. We're back down today, back after the bleak again. What we're going to do today, our holes were all drifted over. We had a bit of snow while we were gone. We couldn't really find them that good, but it's going still great. So we're going to drill two holes here, just around the same general area. And I'm going to go a couple of hundred yards north up the lake a bit farther. I know there's a hole up that way. Tony got it down to a sign, so I think he got a GPS coordinate and he's hid right where to put the hole. So I'm just going to go drill till I find it. <laughs> See if I can get a GPS coordinate in my head. So we're going to go up there and put two tip-ups, two tip-ups here that we can still see perfect from the cabin when we go back for a barbecue for the evening. Then we'll come out and take them up before there. So I guess I got some more work to do. There we go. Now we're in business. Here. 
with water here. Yeah, many plicas here. Got all the holes down now. Got them all fishing. Keeping close eye on them. So while we're waiting for the plate to strike on, I figure it's a good opportunity to do a few shout outs. First one I wanted to mention was uh, William Larkham Jr., Big Land Trapper. I've been watching him for many years, long before I started my channel. He's big into the outdoor stuff and he does, like, he's after doing polar bear hunts. He's a shrimp fisherman, crab fisherman. Videos he got on there is unbelievable. I really, really enjoy his channel. Another one is uh, Chuck Porter, Everything Outdoors. Like I said, that's another channel that I've been watching for quite a while. And those fellas is probably the inspiration of why I decided to start my own channel, enjoying what they were doing, and figured why not give it a shot myself. So, Everything Outdoors, Chuck Porter is a real good one. He got some pretty cool stuff upcoming, moving to his cabin, building a new cabin, lots of exciting things on the horizon for him. You should really check that one out. And uh, Newfie Country Boy, he's a fairly new fella like myself, trying to build a channel and get things going. He's doing a bit of ice fishing too. Now he's out on the island of Newfoundland. They don't have the, the ice conditions we got now. I was talking to him a couple of days ago and he told me he was out in canoe doing a video. <laughs> Have we got a hard time getting around a canoe here yet together? <laughs> but he got a little comical side to him, I must say. I really do enjoy his channel. His famous saying is keep strain on her. <laughs> he got a merch page in there, so you should really check me out. Another channel I always watch a lot and keep a close eye out for is uh, Wallace Vivian Adventures. You should really go uh, give him a look up and have a check it out. He uh, he has some real cool stuff on the go. He just got a new sawmill there, getting her all set up, and taking you through step by step, and how he built the platform and all that gear. And he got the uh, cast iron Wednesdays as a cook up. I really enjoy looking forward to those. You don't know what he's going to have in the pot next. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's the four of the main ones for me that I really keep a close eye on to follow. So uh, you should really go give them a look. Check them out. Although the fishing may be slow, the absolute beauty of this vast land definitely makes every effort worthwhile. beauty. <laughs> I guess we will uh, we'll have to sum it up and say that we're going to take the title for most fish. We're not going to get the title for biggest fish. <laughs> not looking good. Time to call it a day. Packing her up for the evening. The sun has gone down below the tree line. Beautiful day nonetheless. Still enjoyed it to the fullest. Had a nice barbecue up on the step watching the tip ups with the binoculars. Throw that down a little free meal for them. Actually, the box for the auger head. But while we're down there, I got the auger put together and back to the cabin. So I just put it in the sleigh, put all the tip ups, all the bait, knives, everything in there. When you're just coming out and circling around like this, everything is nice and tidy in one box. So we'll get the rest of them.
sometimes with pike yeah after the hook is sitting there for so long and pike is a predator fish so sometimes you give it a couple of quick plucks and then that really entices them if there's one close by Short evening, I'm gonna head back to the cabin now. Just settled in for the night. Didn't uh, get the big one, but we got enough for a fry. So we're gonna go in now and get the fire pitch parked up and uh, see if we can't get a nice fry from Northern Pike on. Weather's supposed to come in tomorrow, and you can see the overcast now pretty good. So get all the water buckets topped up as tomorrow this could be a float. Who knows? Fire pit dug out. First fire at the cabin for the spring. You can see the boat and that there near the side of the fence. We got the slate here and bottom up the market because we're supposed to be getting the driveway plowed. So I didn't want to have to go out in the lake and get my boat back. <laughs> but just look at that sunset this evening. Just something about the crackle of a fire. Sat back watching the sunset. Just makes the day seem right. Now we're going to enjoy the fruits of our labor. <laughs> Some northern plate nuggets now fried up on the open fire. A bit of flour, salt and pepper. A cast iron pan. It's going to be showing good. Can't wait to get at this. Well folks, I guess this brings us to the end of another video. We had an awesome few days here at the lake trying to take the record for biggest fish. But uh, now I got to extend the challenge to mom to drop back and uh, try to take the title for most fish, which I currently hold. <laughs> Anyhow folks, thanks for watching. Till next time, stay safe.